With a few vials filled with thousands of tiny trichogramma wasps, several swatches of sweaters filled with clothes moth eggs, and a lot of patience, we were able to get the shot I was waiting for, a wasp parasitizing the egg of a clothes moth. To get the shot, we used a dissecting scope from the biological imaging facility at UC Berkeley because these wasps are really, really tiny. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yes. All right, should I zoom in? Sometimes we're not sure we'll be able to capture a certain behavior on camera, so it's always a relief when we do. That's it. One down. Woo! 10.46. <laughs> the clothes moth eggs are also so tiny, so finding them on the wool samples wasn't easy. Then we had to wait and hope that the wasps would be interested in them. Oh, there we go. But you don't have to wait to learn all about them. Watch our new episode about clothes moths and their natural predator.